I left the agencies is they have this, this plan that if you do not believe that the government is God, um, then you would go to one of these processing centers briefly. If you could be re-educated, they would do that. Although there isn't much need for humans, that you know, the globalists really are free to admit that there's no room for humans anymore. Um, it's our duty to uh, expire so that um, to make the planet to atone for our sins, basically, of what we've done to the planet. And so you will basically be killed. And, uh... One more time. What kind of liners are these? Casket the liners. liners. These are casket liners. That's what the man said. That's what the man told us. And we're told that there are about, well, there were about 500,000 out here. And there are two different humane methods of killing. And one of those is gassing. And the other method is decapitation. And they've been doing all these experiments, decapitating thousands and thousands of mice, recording their brain waves, all of that, to justify decapitation as a uh, humane method of euthanizing people. Reporting from the Springdale Walmart or the closed down Walmart in Ohio. I want people to notice I'm on the back side of the compound and this wire runs a lot farther than just the old Walmart. It wraps all the way up around David's Bridle. That part, that uh, peak right there coming up right in the center in the front of the building, that's David's Bridle. It wraps all the way down and around all this. As you can see, it goes over to the other building. And all the way down. It's going to be worse than 29. Look okay. your house. Yeah. That you're living in. You think That's you right. own it. You don't. Right. You have contractual right to transfer the airspace subject to you paying taxes to the state. Right. Or the Global 2000 discussions that we had. The real problem that they have, as Kissinger says, is there are just too many people on the planet. And 40% of the world, two, 2 billion of us, exist on less than $2 a day. The summary of the Global 2000 report I put up on my website, nohopes.com, right. but uh, if you look at it, it makes sense to get rid of people. So they, what they said, they're going to make godlike decisions on who lives and who dies. Now, obviously, uh, some of the meetings we set on, we were planning on using neutron, neutron bombs on the major cities because that contains most of the, what they call... You actually heard this? I sat in on the meetings. I was in the game big yeah. time. I, yeah. In fact, I was making such a mess, they decided rather than kill me, which they could, uh, they just invited me into the inner group and asked me to be the finance chairman. And at that point, I probably would have been in, you know, secretary of the treasury or something, whatever they wanted to do with me. Uh, what I was doing prior to that, so you know, making it right, I would volunteer to become a president of a company and I'd go in and liquidate it. And we get rid of the expendable containers. That was my job. Expendable and containers meaning human beings? That's right. Yeah, that, it, it's amazing. That's well, really that was inside a vernacular, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, well, that's what we used at that time. Yeah. I mean, it went from there to useful cedars today, so you're happy with it. You're a human resource. So, right. Which, you know, all you are is part of the commodity, even in the, in the business sense. You look at it, you have a cost. Labor, what is labor? Yeah. Human resource. Right. When you're going to put together some kind of product. Well, mm -hmm. the inside of the game, when we started to use new trombones, today they figure that biologicals are much cheaper. Mm -hmm. They're still planning on, the plan is to get a war start in the Middle East, and they're still planning on using a neutron bomb or uh, one of the bombs that they've got developed on Israel 
-hmm. and that's to begin uh, World War Three, mm -hmm. which is all on the cards. And it's, it's going to happen. I, yeah. yeah, they even put a monument up for this whole program. It's mm -hmm. called the Georgia Guidestones. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, oh yeah, outside mm -hmm. of Atlanta. You right. know, and they've got it all set down there. It's all in eight languages. They want it, they, it, basically it's fait accompli as far as they're concerned. It's just to get the thing going in the Middle East, and it's not going fast enough. I mean, Carter put this thing in, so we have the. Plan 2000 with the war starting in the year 2000 in the Middle East. Right. Reduce the population of the planet down right. to 500 million. Have one world currency under the uh, Homeland Security or FEMA, if you want to call it. Um, they're going to declare an emergency, which you're going to shut down everything. Uh -huh. you know, my friends, my CIA associates, I don't even call them friends anymore. CIA is crooks in action. Yeah. They're all, profe <laughs> they're all professional liars. Yeah. I mean, they they got to be if they have that job. Yeah. So you have to look at what they're doing. Anyway, they're so concerned, they're leaving the country too. Most of them are going to Latin America. Uh, meanwhile, they're closing in every day right now, just closing in to make it so we're going to be set up in these enemy prisoner war camps. Oh, I, I published a book. It's called Chaos in America. Mm -hmm. In it, I was asked to build an enemy prisoner war camp. I put the contract in this book. So you can read it for yourself. This is in downtown Las Vegas, right on the railroad tracks. It says enemy prisoner war camp. They're all on top. And they're building them all the way across the United States right now. Bush signed an executive order um, taking the old forts and the army places that we shut down to get those organized to hold the so-called dissidents. Now, what's the definition of a dissident? And the problem is that we're going to enslave ourselves because most of the people want to keep having food coming in and you're going to follow the line. You're just walking yourself into your own prison camp. Then we're going to come down to the extermination, just like World War II. Right. Well, Phil, Phil and I have lectured together. I know Phil Snyder. He's dead now. He's, you know. Yeah, I know he's dead. And so what, what, what about what he was saying about the number of bases at that time? I think it was 129 bases before he died. Underground had already been built. Was that all for the elite? Yeah. Really? What are they going to do with the rest of the people? They just get rid of them, leave them above ground and be radiated. Now, my son happens to be a nuclear physicist. Mm -hmm. Spent the last three and a half years in a secret city in Russia. They're about 12 years ahead of us. They have 22,000 nuclear warheads. And, of course, we're the target. The Soviets have... Uh, three nuclear submarines on the west coast and three on the east coast. They're about two football fields in length, five stories tall, and they all are nuclear power and nuclear. One one to one six, and then it jumps to one eight to one fifteen. Nothing to it. It says, "Law to amend Article two of Chapter ten of Title seventeen of the Official Code of Georgia, animated relating to the death penalty, generally, so as to provide a statement of legislative policy to provide for death by guillotine, to provide for applic uh, applicability to repeal conflicting laws, and for other purposes." Now listen to this paragraph. The General Assembly finds that while prisoners condemned to
theme of death camps and the red and blue list under martial law. While I have no doubt that the NWO cravers at the CIA have their own list of people to round up and terminate, the actual proper agency behind the now infamous Red Blue List is none other than FEMA Black OPS. FEMA is not here to primarily help you. Under a full state of martial law, FEMA is here to send you to their detention camps to sort out who shall live and who shall die. Those unfortunates whose names are found among the millions of fellow Americans on FEMA Red Blue Lists will never come out of the FEMA camps alive, although they may have to go through hell before they are finally terminated. Such offenders are essentially deemed resistors of the New World Order, as my CIA and military insiders told me personally. Oh, all of us in the CIA know all about the concentration camps in America and their purpose. We all know that their purpose is to terminate resistors of the New World Order under martial law. Source Michael Amaholi, 20 years Naval Intelligence CIA under Bush Sr. For example, the FEMA death camp of the Mojave is a full gas and cremating death camp, dedicated to the termination of all on FEMA's red blue lists under martial law. I have previously documented this horrific death camp and documented the eyewitness accounts of several former NWO supporters who were flown out there. My friends, Doc Marquis, Illuminati and Elaine Nost, CIA Lucifer Ian, formerly high-level Illuminati Lucifer Ians, but now are supposed Christians for many years, were both flown separately to this facility in the Mojave Desert of California. It boasts a landing strip. According to another contact, a D agent who personally investigated this FEMA facility, it was recently doubled in size to increase killing capacity. It is fully staffed. All staff members wear black SWAT team uniforms. When I asked Doc Marquis what his sentiments were, back when he was a member of the Illuminati and given a tour of his killing facility, his reply was, sheer joy. I rejoiced at the thought of Christians being terminated in this place. A chilling response but typical of this nation's Satanists and NWO supporters. This FEMA death camp was shown off as something the NWO and FEMA was literally proud of. And there are many more FEMA detention camps whose ultimate purpose under martial law is not to save life, but to terminate human lives deemed unworthy of entering into the dawning of Lucifer's new world order. Know the cold hard facts about FEMA and then think twice before going meekly to such camps under a state of martial law in your region. We are all on a red or blue list somewhere, those on the red list will be walk on at 4 a.m. and taken to the camps and probably killed. Red list, these people are the enemies of the NWO. They are the leaders of patriot groups, outspoken ministers, outspoken talk show hosts, community leaders, and even probably net leaders. These people will be dragged out of their homes at 4 a.m. and will be taken to FEMA detention centers and killed. This will take place approximately two weeks before martial law is enforced. Blue List, these are also enemies of the NWO, but are followers of the Red List folks. These people will be rounded up after martial law is in place and will be taken to the detention centers and re-educated. Various mind control techniques will be used on them. Most will not survive this. Mr. Springmeyer was not specific on exactly who was on the blue list, but I would guess that people such as you and I are on that list. Yellow list, these are citizens who know nothing about the NWO, which is the New World Order, and don't want to know. They are considered to be no threat at all and will be instructed as to how to behave and will most likely do whatever they are told. Unfortunately there are too many of these to be effectively controlled, so many will be killed or starved. By the way, once you're in the FEMA camp they will start chipping the people with the satanic RFID chip 666. 